guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragons. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That's pretty pretty. Oh, oh baby. Bruh. Well, yeah, because you're in New York, baby. <laughs> the only reason she's here is because she had a fight with Kobayashi. That's so cute. <laughs> so instead of going home and apologizing, <laughs> she's like, fuck it, I'm going to New York. <laughs> I'm going to be on Broadway. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Peace. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> well, damn. Then my favorite couple's not going to be in here today. <laughs> oh, poor Taki and Itadu. Our babies, maybe next week. It is. Ah, I've been there. <laughs> Poor baby. Supposed to be a Coca Cola, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. Uh oh. Why are you being chased? What did you do? Kinda! Okay. What's your name? <laughs> Cloud. 
Chloe. So where are you originally from? Yes. want to play Kana. <laughs> you still want a hot dog? <laughs> Why don't you want to go home though? Oh, she got a black car. <laughs> huh. As someone who just had hot dogs like five minutes ago, no, about like ten minutes ago, those hot dogs are good. <laughs> Yeah, she just in love with Kana. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to go there. I didn't get to go there when I was in high school. And I've been there too! This episode is just in a nutshell. Deej is going back to New York one day. <laughs> oh, baby. Are they at the Met? Mm -hmm. So, Chloe, what about you? Yeah. It's okay to be scared. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, no, just because she's a runaway does not give you the right to hit her. Come Kana.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Minnesota. Kind of arguing with your parents too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yep, <clears throat> because it is daytime in Japan. Aww. Yeah, and a phone number too, probably. Exactly. Hmm? Oh, Kobayashi. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that was cute. You just followed her? <laughs> no, I know that feeling. I guess so. <laughs> well, you can always go see Chloe again. Baby. <sighs> 
Chloe. Yeah. Y'all literally gonna pay a trip from Minnesota to Japan. Damn. <laughs> I mean, also that watermelon looked good, even though I don't like watermelon like that. <clears throat> hmm? Oh. Maybe. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah. And they usually have the same design on them. Uh, kinda. I mean, damn, we going everywhere today. <laughs> oh, poor Kobayashi. <laughs> oh. Just tired, and it's hot. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Very unique. <laughs> Got another one? Yeah. Oh. Like how some of them have Pokemon on them as well? Oh! Mm -hmm. That's so cute. <laughs> uh oh, oh, yeah. Oh, well, damn, hold up. Mm-hmm. 
Of course. Everything has a home. That was so fucking cute. Yes! <laughs> I just walked around. <laughs> Edit it was me. <laughs> Honestly, for an episode that was all about Kana, that was just sweet. I mean, her kind of going to fucking New York City. Oh my god, like child. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Except that would be me going to Japan, getting into an argument with a parent, and being like, "Well, fine, I do and get on a plane and go across the country." And they'd be like, where the hell you at? And be like, mmm, I'm in a different country. I'll be home in a couple of weeks. <laughs> because, I, okay, as someone who got lost in New York City with her school, but then also like a couple of her schoolmates um, and such, and went to different things and such, it was fun. Really, really fun. And getting to see like really unique monuments that you only really get to see in TV or unless you actually fucking live in New York City and such. But to see it in anime form was adorable. Love the fact that Toru followed Kana. <laughs> but kept her distance and just watched. But then it, made, then it makes you wonder, okay, when Chloe got kidnapped, why didn't Toru help? <laughs> I mean, I get it because, you know, you want Kana to do her own things and be independent. I got you. But still, it would have been nice. Because, <laughs> you know what, you were guardian, so. Uh. Also, it was nice to see Chloe, even though, like, somebody, well, when I found this out last week, um, I was expecting to see her a little bit more. I'm glad that we got to see her in two different times, from the beginning and the middle of the episode, and unfortunately, this is probably going to be the only time we're going to see her, because the fact is, she is in one of the spinoff series that focuses on Kana, but I'm glad that they were able to put her in the show. I mean, she's a really interesting character, and I would like to know more about her, but... Yeah, once again, that means go read the fucking manga, but yeah. I mean, but it was a cute episode. Hell, even having Kobayashi and Kana spend the entire day together honestly reminds me of any day or, like, when I was a little kid, even versus now, like, any time when me and my mom go out together and hang out, or if we're just at home hanging out with each other, or any of the times when, um, from when I was a little kid up until, like, Sometime after high school when um, I would hang out with my dad, sometimes it would be either for like the whole day or half of the day or whatever. There were times where we had to go help somebody or we would just go for a drive or whatever and stuff and just go drive around. That's something that the three of us kind of either did together or just me and my dad or just watching something together and having that time to spend with someone who you love and care about even if it's a family member or even a friend or whoever or even a significant other just to have that moment with someone it's sweet and nice and you have to like count your blessings on that because you never know what the heck is gonna happen and such and ish because like oh I haven't called my dad and like I was supposed to call my dad last week and I forgot to. So I think after this and while this is editing, I'll probably call my dad to see how he is and such. But this was a cute episode. I mean, really. Like, it was so fucking adorable. I just, I really loved not only the New York thing, but Kana and Kobayashi hanging out. Like, that was really, truly cute. And them just walking around town to find manholes. Like, <laughs> that is just the most adorable thing. 
Oh, it was so fucking cute. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 10 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.